So my water is boiling for my sorrel and I wash my sorrel here and I'm going to put it in. If you look it start turning red already. Now I'm going to put my ginger. I crush it. You can use a bottle. Or, or you can use one of these things you can get it in Walmart to buy so you can crush your ginger properly or your garlic we don't need garlic in this recipe though so I'm just gonna put in my ginger I crush and um, I have my rice, one teaspoon. I wash it and I. This is, I told it, it's for fermentation. Oh, trying to get it out. <laughs> and now I have my clothes. I'm gonna put about maybe six clothes. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of allspice, which is pimento. So I told you I'm gonna ferment it for let it stay like for three days before I make it and I want to show you how colorful it is it start turning red already you know so but so you mix up everything and you turn off your stove and you're gonna cover your pot and you let this stay for a couple of days the longer the better it's good for a lot of stuff you know sometimes these remedies that our grandmother teach us our heritage you know come back to help us in the future straighten our bodies so you know this is good for a lot of things you can research it you can google it and it will tell you Good for swelling, good for inflammation, good for nasal nasal passage. It's good for respiratory tract. It's good for bacteria to 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 get rid of bacteria. It's good for inflammation, for pain, good for swelling. So try this. You never know. And give me leave some comments. Maybe you don't make your sorrow like this. You have some other ingredients or added ingredients that you you put in there. You can leave me a comment and tell me how you make it so we can have a little discussion. You know, like and subscribe to our videos and follow us on Instagram. Bye. All right, so this is my sorrel. After three days, it's fermented. Remember, I put the rice grain for it to be fermented. And <clears throat> I strain it. And I'm going to mix it now. I'm going to put some sugar. If you're diabetic, you don't have to put any sugar. This is, this is it. You don't have to put any sugar. And um, I'm going to put some red label wine. You can use any red wine, but I choose to use red label. And I'm going to put a little sugar and put some ice. And I'm going to enjoy it. As I told you, it has a lot of benefits. So... So, um, subscribe and like and hit the notification bell and follow us on Instagram. Bye. So, this is my sarrel. I finished making it. This sarrel, if you Google it, you can find the benefits for inflammation, swelling. It's good for swelling. It's good for a lot of stuff, for breathing. It all um, for respiratory problems it's good so in my bio you'll find my YouTube video where you can find you find my if you click on my bio you will find my YouTube channel where you can have this recipe so follow us on Instagram bye you have a wonderful day I'm just going to sit and relax and drink.
my wonderful juice. Sorry, I'll drink. Sorry, I'll drink today. So my sour is finished and I put it in a nice glass and put some ice and now you can relax and drink and <clears throat> this is what we mostly drink on Christmas with our Christmas fruit cake, black cake. But you can drink this any time of the year as you know I told you it's good for a lot of stuff and so I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my delicious drink. So subscribe and like our videos and follow us on Instagram. Yes. I want to taste it and see. Ugh. Mm, this is wonderful. I can feel it going down in my tummy. It feels, tastes, and feels so good. So, bye. Until then, have a wonderful day. Mwah.